Sixth-generation fighter jet programs are some of the most interesting and secretive weapon development projects in the aviation industry. They predominantly belong to two categories, those that have been widely publicized and those that we know very little about. While the Chinese and Russian programs fall into the second category, those under development in Japan and Europe belong to the first. But the United States' next-generation air dominance, NGAD project, is somewhere in between. Its timeline and budget are constantly discussed, and the U.S. Air Force, USAF, even reported that it had flown a prototype of the jet. However, in contrast to the Tempest, the FCAs or the FX, the U.S. has revealed surprisingly little in terms of characteristics or even the appearance of the aircraft. That is, unless we count concept art and 3D renders of the NGAD. While there is certainly an abundance of concepts out there, they are all different. There are several reasons for these differences. Firstly, there are two programs referred to as NGAD, one which is overseen by the USAF and another by the US Navy, USN. Both envision the fighter jet of the future not as a singular aircraft, but as a system of systems, a collection of different aircraft, performing different tasks as a team. While a manned fighter jet remains at the center of this arrangement, much of the actual offensive capability depends on a swarm of drones of all shapes and sizes controlled by the jet. Additionally, a number of companies are currently working on these programs. The Pentagon dropped its regular acquisition process in favor of hiring companies to carry out separate tasks, such as designing specific components or subsystems. And while recent reports indicate that this novel approach has at least been partially abandoned for the USAF's NGAD program, the procurement process for the service's sixth-generation fighter still differs from the way's fifth and fourth-generation jets were selected. The result? An onslaught of concept art, with many of the participating companies presenting their own visions of the NGAD, focusing on the parts of the system they are responsible for designing and often ignoring everything else. So what have these companies proposed, and what can we find out about the NGAD just by looking at these images?